Ooh, is it ever a hot one today? I decided to quickly make this video for anyone who, like me, hasn't driven a diesel engine vehicle before. This is a Ford 250 XLT. It's an old truck, and there's just like a couple of little things that I realized that, I mean, I wouldn't have known. So I thought, you know, let me make a video about this in case anyone's wondering. So the first thing I well, tried to Google and couldn't find any answers for, and it may seem very elementary to most people, okay? I'm not your normal driver of this kind of a truck, although I am now sold on it. I like it quite a lot. Um, but there are two fuel tanks. So I remember seeing them and thinking, oh, I've never seen that before. What could it possibly mean? Um, I was thinking, is one kind of fuel and one's another kind of fuel? Or like, I don't know. They're actually just for more fuel storage. And this is interesting. You can tell by just flipping right here. This is the front or the rear fuel tank. And when you switch it, it will show you on the gauge how much fuel is in each tank. So that's pretty handy. Another thing I realized after the fact was that if you want to put this vehicle into four uh, by four, um, and at which I had to do because I was going down to the reservoir to get some rocks and it was a little bit um, some hills and stuff like that so you put it in four by four but then you also want to go down here and when it's in four by four hold on yeah when it's in four by four you want to make sure you've got the wheel lock put this in lock like that and when you aren't using it in 4x4 you make sure it's like this so you can see it's pointing to free or pointing to lock and that's also on the other side those, those are some fun facts I learned about uh, diesel engines this truck is a beast like many of the ones we have out here um, I'm really starting to have an appreciation for them it's quite fun driving them and uh, they're really good for farm type things. I hope this video helps someone, maybe a newbie like me who doesn't know these little things. And if this kind of video is popular, maybe I'll make some more like little things that people who weren't raised on a farm don't know. And myself, I spent summers on a farm when I was a kid, but there was a lot of things that, you know, I still didn't learn. Some things I did, some things I didn't. So yeah, I have a video about how to drive a tractor. Maybe I'll post that next. Thanks for watching.